see a patient is a source of infection so it is advisable that the patient is isolated his or her belongings like clothes like utensils they should also be separated because when he or she is eating food or wearing clothes the microbes can go there also they are so small we can't see them so the healthy person can also get infection and in fact another reason for isolation is that the visitors can also be a source of infection for the patient because the patient's immunity is, has already gone down so isolation is advised so what we can say is another means of spread is direct contact in the direct contact will also come the sexual contact sexual contact means the intimate physical relation it doesn't mean just shaking hand kissing or hugging but the intercourse so when there is sexual contact the result is that there can be some sexually transmitted diseases like syphilis gonorrhea or even aids and these are called std or the sexually transmitted diseases so in this way the infectious diseases can spread now we are always advised that our food should be covered there should be no heaps of garbage there should be no stagnant water why because there are some organisms which can especially some insects which are also means of spreading like house fly mosquito cockroach now some of these organisms they can carry microbes of many diseases for example a house fly or a cockroach so they are the carriers but there are some insects which carry pathogen of only a specific disease they are called vectors like female anopheles mosquito even the male cannot cause this disease so they are called vectors so vectors are those organisms that carry or spread a specific pathogen so female anopheles mosquito has malarial parasite that is the plasmodium in its body so when it bites us along with saliva it also leaves the plasmodia in our body which enter our body move through blood and finally reach the liver cells